Greetings folks, in this video we're going to be having a look at something a little bit different. A company called Bluetti contacted me and asked if I'd like to have a look at the AC50B portable power station. So this is basically a, a big uh, lipo or lithium phosphate battery you can use as a, a backup power station. Uh, it outputs AC, has an inverter built in, so it outputs AC and DC and you can charge it with AC and DC and solar panels as well. Uh, so what sort of things would we, would we use this for? Well, it's useful for charging lipos out in the field, uh, charging things like phones and uh, laptops uh, while you're out camping, running a car fridge, um, kettles, lights while you're camping, that sort of stuff, and also as an emergency backup in a power outage. We actually do get a few power outages around here, so to use something like this to run the freezer just to save the frozen goods uh, for a couple of hours or something like that would be very very useful so yes i said <laughs> i do want to have a look at it and uh, thank you very much blue eddy there is also a blue eddy app which you can use for monitoring and uh, setup while it's running from your phone first we'll unbox it and see what we have inside Various cables there. I see XT60 and some banana plug style plugs. Uh, we will find out what they're all about a bit later on. Australian power plug there. A car cigarette lighter connection there. Something in there that I don't know what it is. We've got a contact card there and a user manual. And you can see they have outlets all around the world, so very good. Mine came from locally in Australia, so that is very nice. Power plugs, Australian, South African, I guess that is, European, uh, whatever that is, UK and US. And showing all the different charging scenarios, uh, AC power from the wall, solar panels uh, in the car, and from a petrol generator. AC outlet, appliances up to 700 watts power, and cigarette lighter port, compatible loads 12 volt DC, appliances up to 120 watts power, like a car fridge, USB A port, 5 volts 3 amps, mobile phone, phones and other small loads, and USB C port, uh, mobile phones and laptops and things like that. And recharging time, two and a half hours standard, AC to 75 watts and the two together you can charge with both at the same time it looks like turbo charge you can get to 80 percent charge in 45 minutes and full charge in 70 minutes and silent mode it would take about three hours battery capacity 448 watt hours or 20 amp hours cell type uh, lithium iron phosphate net weight about seven and a half kilograms And there we go. So over on the Bluetti website, that is bluettipower.com.au, we can have a look at the price, current price at the moment, $4.99 during the autumn sale, which goes for another five days or so, from today being the 26th of March, 2025. There's a lot of good information on here. Uh, you can see it has a 90-day express replacement service and a uh, five-year warranty. And what I wanted to show you down here, this is interesting information. It's uh, an estimate of operation times for different applications. Drone recharging 11 times. Uh, projector, 3.1 hours. Yeah, yeah. Uh, Wi-Fi router, 17 hours. Uh, CPAP, that's sort of breathing assistance overnight, 4.8 hours. Portable fridge, 3.1 hours. And coffee maker, six cups. <laughs> They're interesting information. And let's have a look at some of the technical specs. All the information there you can check out for yourself. Optional extras. Uh, down the bottom there's the manual download. You can have a look at that if you want to. But I was looking at the solar panels I was interested in. This is a compatible solar panel set for about 350 bucks. So that would take you totally off grid. 
Now looking at the front, we have DC input, that's XT60 there. DC output, that is the cigarette plug. And AC output and AC input. Let's plug it in anyway. And now we can turn it on by pushing and holding the power button and we get the display coming up. And we have input watts, output watts, frequency, uh, percentage of charge and the uh, operating time there. And we can choose DC output or AC output. And we have USB-C, USB-C, USB-A outputs there. And we have a fan around on this side here. And all the specs on the back there. Now the basic operation, say I wanted to charge up my RC controller out in the field, I would just get an AC, uh, a USB cable there, plug him in, it's timed out there, start up again, push the DC and there we go, it just starts charging. And we've got an output of 7 watts at the moment. It's just charging up the LiPos in my RC transmitter. Same for a phone. You would just plug in the USB-C there. Let it plug away. Now to get into the menu, push AC and DC buttons for a couple of seconds. And we get page 1. We get to select the operating, the AC frequency for your country. We are 50 hertz there. Change to page three and we get the option of putting on turbo mode or turbo mode off. We've got a Bluetooth symbol up there. Page four, you can turn on the lifting mode, the power lifting mode going up to a thousand watts. Page five is uh, choosing eco on or eco off. And page six is uh, Bluetooth on or Bluetooth off. We'll leave the Bluetooth on so that we can have a look at the Blue Eddy app and push the two buttons again to get back to the normal display. Now let's turn the AC power on and we'll get a bit of charging going. So it's showing up grid there, input power 279 watts and 0.5 hours to fully charge. Hear the fan there, that's lifted it up to turbo charging, a bit louder. Now it's back to normal charging again. So now we have the Bluetooth app open and we can see the charging going in. We can uh, change the outputs. We can also bring up more settings. Change the charging mode from standard to silent. Fan noise has dropped down a little bit. Turbo. Fan noise picks up a little bit. Not a major difference. Oh yeah, that's going a bit louder. Let's put it in silent mode. You can turn on power lifting for a uh, short time of boosted power output and advanced settings. What have we got here? Output frequency and grid self adaption. That sort of um, adjusts for variations and dropouts in the power grid if you need it. So that's all pretty simple. All looks very good. Imagine the situation that you're desperate to do some 3D printing, but you've had a power outage, so Blue Eddy has you covered. Three D printing project can proceed. 
or you need to charge up some lipos for the flying day but again you've had a power failure problem solved you can charge your batteries could even do this out in the field too in the back of the car and here's a real life scenario that we may face at some stage with a power outage uh, it would be very difficult to manually operate this big double door garage here so problem solved with the blue eddy So there we have the Bluetti AC50B portable power station. It's a very useful piece of equipment for camping, for flying RC planes out in the field all day, uh, and for backup power loss. Um, very useful indeed. Thanks for watching. See you in the next video.